Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to edit navigation bar in Webflow in 2024. So today we're diving into the process of editing the navigation bar in Webflow, which is a crucial element of guiding or for guiding your users through your website. Whether you're adjusting the layout, adding links, or even styling the navigation menu. So stick around as I guide you through the steps of editing navigation in Webflow. And of course, let's ensure that your website navigation is intuitive and user-friendly. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open your Webflow account. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section. Here, type webflow com and hit the enter button this should take you into their home screen main screen if it's your first time you'll be taken to a page like this and here make sure to go and click on login to log into your account if you have one and if you don't have an account simply just click on get started it's free to create a new account you can log in or create your account using google if you don't want to get through all the burn steps of creating or even logging in into your account as you can see and if you don't know nothing about Webflow, you can simply scroll down to read more information about this website and their home screen, and you'll be able to understand a bit about it and just have a general idea or familiarize yourself with it a bit. If you're interested about uh, to see the pricing, here's it, or about the pricing, here's it. You can pause the video and read this all by your own. And this is for general in this sphere or e-commerce, this monthly and this yearly. And yeah, the same here. So now... Of course, once you log into your account, you'll find yourself on your dashboard right here. If you are in free plan, you have access just to two sites, of course. So make sure to choose them wisely. Now, of course, you'll have to go and open. Of course, you can add the new site or create a new site and then edit the navigation of it, uh, the navigation bar of it. Or you can, as an example, if you already have a site for me, as an example, this one has a navigation. So I'll just show you how to uh, edit it by click, simply going to click on Open Designer so I can access the websites and I can start making my edits on it. Of course, if you don't have a navigation from the start, you will have to add it. Simply, you'll be able to add it. As simple as that. So as you can see, this navigator, if we go and click on it, or if we go here, just and click on plus first of all, and here we'll be able to add a lot of things like including whatever you want as you can see you'll be able to add a lot of things like typography from basic from typography structure media forms as you can see if you want to add any form that you want advanced here if you want some advanced some embed code of course as you can see some of them will require from your better plan and if you didn't have a better plan you'll not be able to add it and as you can see you can add a lot of other th stuff here on the pages as you can see you can add or remove some pages depending on whatever you want. And here, of course, we have the navigator. But we would like to edit navigation, which is this one. As you can see, on I have below this dashboard, which is this one. As you can see in here, if I go and click on whatever it is on this navigation or this menu in here, how can I edit this? Simply, for me, of course, I have one already. But what should you do if you don't have it? You will have, of course, to go and create a new one from scratch. And this will be a bit annoying, of course, and it will take a lot of time. So make sure to get the template with navigation. So you'll have just to simply edit it instead of starting from scratch. Unless you start everything from scratch, that's something else. So you can go and check that. How to do it, how to start from scratch by your own. So basically, just select whatever you want to edit in navigation. And of course, you'll be able to add, first of all, or even remove some links. So to add or remove the links on the bar, just click on Navigation tab or in this left panel, as an example, or just go for this navigator, as you can see. On our navigator, if we go and close this, we have the side bar wrapper, which is this one. So we have this navigator to edit anything that we want to edit, as an example. So if we, I hover anything, as you can see, it will be hovered in here also. As an example, let's say, I want to remove this one. So just click on it and click on delete on my keyboard. And as you can see, it's deleted. So basically, you can remove things. You can add things uh, with this navigation bar in here or this navigator. And of course, here you'll be able to add some links if you want to. You'll be able to do a lot of stuff as an example. 
So you can even, uh, as an example, to edit the style of it. So you can click on it or click on whatever you want. And you can edit the style of it from layout to spacing, from size to position, typography, backgrounds, border, effects. You'll be able to, there's a lot of things. Also settings. If you have some specific settings in your mind, you can do them. In interactions, if there is a specific interaction that you want to add, you can also add it. So as we said before, just go and change whatever you want on this uh, bar, of course, or this navigation. And of course, you can even style, as an example, your navigation. So to style your navigation bar, you can simply just click on this uh, sidebar uh, wrapper, which is the whole navigation, and click on style. And simply just edit whatever you want about it, like the color, uh, the weight, font, the size, everything, everything that you want to do. And even you can customize the hover effects uh, for added like int uh, interactivity. You can customize the hover effects for navigation links. You can select the navigation components or for this menu, you can navigate to your states and simply edit those states tab of course and switch the hover states and adjust the, the style and of course properties to do everything you want and ensure that your navigation bar is responsive by testing it across different devices so make sure to test it on uh, this screen this white screen this screen also on a desktop on the tablet as you can see so this is going to be i guess navigation should be somewhere here it's when you click on it or something like that and the mobile landscape and the mobile portrait make sure to test it all over how you can simply go and click on this toggle preview and you'll be able to test it like as example on the tablet as example on the phone on the desktop wherever you want so just test everything out and if it's working correctly if everything is working correctly just simply Go back of course just click on it again and you will uh, go out from that simply go and hit the publish button you can publish it to a custom domain you can add it to your webflow and if you don't have it just go and publish it to the if you're on the free plan if you don't even have a domain name just go and publish it on the domain that they are giving you and yeah so there you have it so you successfully learned how to edit the navigation bar and webflow in 2024 by mastering the navigation bar or uh, components, you can effectively guide users through your website and enhance their browsing experience. So if you have any question or there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comment section and I'll try to do it as soon as possible. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.